we're going to move on into the NFL award predictions. As we know, the award ceremony is tonight. It's tonight. It's tonight. It so is tonight. Hour and a half. Yep. Yeah. Tune in to that uh, after, promptly after we get off. Definitely go take a look at that because there's a lot of stuff that's going to come out. And there's a lot of guys are going to pick some of the things pretty, pretty much no, I think we can say. I think we can mostly agree on certain things. But some are very up in the air, and I'm intrigued to see, you know, where we stand. So, Delilah, I'm going to come to you first. NFL MVP, what do you think? I think that even though he didn't make it to the Super Bowl, they're still going to give it to Aaron Rodgers. Hmm. Yeah. As if I get a sense, so <laughs> that, that that's not who I think should get it, but I think just based on the way it was going beforehand, I don't mm-hmm. think that being knocked out um, of the playoffs is going to um, keep him from actually winning because hmm. he did have the numbers to back it yeah. up, even if he does annoy me. <laughs> it's all good. It's Not all as good. a player, as a person. Let me put that out there. <laughs> well, there'll be plenty of people on this list that annoy me, so I get it. I get it, Delilah. I get it. Speaking of which, uh, the, uh, uh, whoever, whoever, <laughs> go. All right, so she, you gotta be all thrown off. <laughs> I think uh, Aaron Rodgers should and will win the MVP. I don't think. I know Tom Brady had more yards and touchdowns, but he also had way more interceptions, and he had those yards and touchdowns because he had the interceptions early and had to come back late. So he got a lot of those stats late, and uh, Aaron Rodgers didn't turn the ball over, and so he didn't have to play late in a lot of games. They were the one seed over the Tom Brady's team. Um, it is a regular season award. It's not a postseason award, so I think it should be Aaron Rodgers. Um, that's kind of who I'm going with. I think it's going to be. I can dig it. I could dig it. Ask what you think. Um, well, I made a bet <laughs> because oh, surprise, week one, surprise. Season, the Dallas Cowboys lost to Tom Brady, and I was real salty. So I threw some money on Tom Brady to win MVP. Let's go. <laughs> so she's rooting really hard. So I'm rooting hard for Tom Brady to get it. Yeah. And it's his last year, hopefully, yeah. last season. So let's just give it to him to, to send him on his way. <laughs> So this is the only time that we will agree on anything going <laughs> forward because I too, uh, this is for you, Kate. Uh, I too think Mr. Tom Brady should get it. I think he will get it because it being his last year. And this is him. Like you said, sending him out on top. He didn't get the Super Bowl ring. So it's kind of like here, let's give you the NFL MVP. <laughs> so you don't come back next year. All right. Just, just go. All right, Mr. Tom Brady. Well, I mean, we'll see if they do because I definitely agree with the Aaron Rodgers thing. Uh, anybody, anybody, I know we all kind of lo- have love for Cooper Cup, but does anybody yeah. think he's a dark horse? Maybe I would um, love that to be the surprise, but I just don't see it again. It's just historically, it hasn't happened yet. Maybe one day the NFL will break that tradition, and actually award a wide receiver finally. Usually, if they when they do things like that, it's always co MVP, which is yeah. you know. <laughs> like when they gave it to Barry Bonds and who was, was yeah, Barry Sanders? Yeah, Barry and um, Barry Bonds. Sorry, <laughs> baseball. <laughs> Barry Sanders. <laughs> I think. Uh, Good. I was. I think. I think he's got a couple things going for him to give him a chance. <laughs> yeah. Um. The fact that I mean, his team made it to the Super Bowl. But so if like the people that voted waited until after the playoffs and stuff and saw it and they they go based off that, I, it's supposed to be a regular season award, but it's not voted on until after that. So. People are going to take that into account, even though they're not supposed to. Also, it is people voting for it. So just like you guys, not a lot of people like Aaron Rodgers. So they might not vote for him out of spite. And that spite vote might go to Cooper Cup because he should. I mean, statistically, he was the best player. He had the triple crown winner as a receiver and all that stuff. So I think those things are going for him, which, I mean, maybe he gets it because of that. But he definitely deserves it. But traditionally and everything, based off of what Delilah said, exactly, I think Aaron Rodgers gets it because of that. They should have a quarterback MVP and then, like, a league MVP. That's kind of like that. So they do the MVP, and it's always the quarterback, and then they do Offensive Player of the Year, which yeah. is usually the best. That's not the same. I, I don't like that. I know. But that's that's what they, didn't they give that to Derrick Henry last, <laughs> last year? Yeah, yeah, because he didn't get MVP him. when he people thought he should, which I was he up there thinking, it. yeah, he did. <laughs> He wasn't injured last year. He put up monster numbers. 
<laughs> no, he still put up great numbers. He this did. Year. <laughs> he still yeah. ended up like ninth, even though he was out since October, which yeah. is insane to me. <laughs> yeah. show, us, show us running back some love, Dad Gone It. All right. <laughs> Yo, we are going to move on to offensive player of the year. <laughs> and uh, this time I will start with Ash. What, what, uh, what do you think? Offensive player of the year. I think offensive player of the year is uh, – I'm going to go with Cup since that's what we were talking go. about. Yep. I don't know how you don't give it to him. You have to give him something because he balled out this year and there's no one that's done what he's done. In a, exactly. Like, I just don't know how you don't give it to him. The triple crown, you got yeah, I did absolutely. Yep. Say, what yep. do you think? Yeah, I think same thing. I think it's between him and Jonathan Taylor because Jonathan Taylor was so far and above this even second place running back when it came to yards and everything. So mm-hmm. he died in that position. But uh, what <clears throat> did is consistently he averaged over 120 yards a game, which is Crazy. absolutely insane. And yeah. uh, yeah, I think that's that's who I would go with is Cooper Cup for sure. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, oh, I got to go with. <laughs> I, I, I honestly, I try and I don't want to keep it. I, 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 I don't want to keep it with the same as everybody else. But I kind, I, I gotta right, agree you with you. Not. I, feel I like mean, hard to pick. Wow. Okay. See this. This is the first time that things will happen. I'm so glad you came back, Delilah, because uh, Ash <laughs> got muted. Picard talking about Dak. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorry, I, I had to let my mama in the house. <laughs> Hello, mama. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So who, who do you think? I, I said I said Cooper Cup just because I we've all we will all agreed on it, so it's no mystery. Yeah, uh, I, I, I think the I I think it's no doubt that people want to nominate vote for him because he's already nominated. But yeah, there's no way. First of all, like I shared an article a while back that the man like built like his own like like research place like in his farm because he has a farm and like you know because he's from washington like the state of washington it's weird when i have to say that but if i just say washington you know people think dc but right but in the state of dc (laughs) in the state of washington he's a country boy so he bought a big farm like out in the middle of nowhere and he built this whole like course in his farm so that he could practice and condition like build like all these things that are like more uh, calisthenics to his body so not like weights but like straight up out there like being like paul bunyan type of guy you know like just crazy like it was crazy like yeah and then he followed like you know like what like um you know uh not dietitians but like uh health experts are saying you should Mm -hmm. use so like that's what he has out there and that's what he uses so that's why when um when a ra- when you see a rare drop by him, you see him mm-hmm. come back and like run like for a hundred yards, right? Because he's making up for the one time <laughs> yeah. that it's like yeah. fumbles, right? And so then all of a sudden he's running a hundred yards, you know, the next two plays. And so like he literally spends so much time like conditioning his body because what he says is that he wants it to his muscles to act um, on a reflex, like yeah. not just his mind. Natural. So he wants his body to automatically turn and react a certain way quicker than his mind can so that he's oh, not yeah. making snap decisions right and that his body oh, yeah. is just moving so make him, man make him instincts. A, a dude like that i can't i can't hate on that like he balls, <laughs> out. He balls out and i and what i love the most about him is he's purely a football <laughs> guy you yeah. know what i mean because when he got i remember one game he got interviewed after the game and they were like oh man you did amazing how did you do how'd you do that and they were like well the safety they were in a uh, too deep coverage. So the same thing was over here. So I made a move and then me and right. Matt was on the same page. And it was straight, like football, just X's and O's. And I know like the reporter was in there like, oh, okay, I was waiting for something different. Like, this is what I'm giving hey, you the round. You know, okay, I bet you his wife is happy that she paid all the bills for a while oh, yeah. so he could hey, finish. Hey, because it doesn't always now. hey, it doesn't always work out that way. We know that. So like kudos to her, like figuring it out that you know Eastern Washington to the Super Bowl. I can <laughs> <laughs> Next, we're going to go ahead and move on, and I, I'm just going to let Sid answer this one. The defensive player of the year, Sydney, your boy. Go ahead. Mr. Trent Jordan Watt. Absolutely. <laughs> he should have won it last year. He should have won it the year before. If he gets snubbed again, there is a hate crime. Something is wrong. <laughs> it should be TJ. I mean, he tied the sack record in less games because of how many games he missed. Like, come on. Give it to him. Any go. Give it to him. Wad. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Straight out to Andrew said, "What?" <laughs> I can dig it. Ash, are you are you on the same page in your house? I also made a bet on two shows. <laughs> see a theme here. So I am going heavy for TJ Watt. He should have won it last year. Who Aaron Donald got last year? Yeah, oh, mm-hmm. that was. Mm-mm. I was not happy, mm-hmm. but I want a lot of money with TJ. So go TJ. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I love TJ anyway. I think he deserves it. It's been a long time coming. Yeah, I agree. All that Miles Garrett talk at the beginning of season was making me real mad. So I was like, mm-hmm. "There's no way." And then he kind of fell off. I'm like, "Ha, let's go, TJ." <laughs> I mean, he started. He started off strong, and then. I was laughing because every time he showed his arms, they made him drop, right? Like, he kept joking. He's like, I'm not going to go sleeveless anymore because every time I go out there with a sleeveless jersey, he's like, they make me go, you know, pee in a cup. That was Gary. Yeah, he was like, oh, he's like, surprise, surprise. I get a text like, hey. <laughs> and he and he's, he's on the Browns. Right, and he, he's a no beast, you are. know? He's a yeah. beast. So, like, honestly, I'm not going to – I mean, I also agree. I think TJ Watt should get it, but I'm not going to take away Away from Miles Garrett being a monster mm-hmm. either out there, like I wouldn't want to be on the other side either. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. No, yeah, we're all yeah, in on that TJ Watt one because I, but, yeah, I just don't think you can go any other place. Right, exactly. He was <laughs> just you that. Unless you want Micah. Moving on. <laughs> That's serious. Uh, wow, right. Uh, <laughs> You, this is my show. You can't mute me. <laughs> I am going to uh, ask. I'm going to come to you first on this one. Offensive rookie of the year. Who you got? Um, who's who's favorite for this? Jamar. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going to stick with that. Jamar Chase. He's just been balling this year. Him and Burrow are so good. Like, uh, Yeah. <laughs> I have no reason not to. I'm trying to not go that way, but I'll give you a reason not to. No. Najee Harris. Is <laughs> oh just, my goodness. Not to, so we can mute it because that's biased and you didn't want my biased opinion. I'll give you stats to back it up but, okay. if you'd like. Wow. Uh, well, I'm going, especially since I don't, there's no, I think you should have to vote on this stuff before the postseason starts because I feel like postseason is definitely, I mean, that. Definitely sways my opinion on Burrow and Jamar Chase because, like, yeah, I like them, but now that they've like steamrolled through the playoffs, I'm like, these guys are amazing! Like, right, right. So much more hyped about them than I was during the regular. <laughs> season, so. But yeah, I don't know. Ja- Jamar was favored before, to be fair. Yeah. Before they went into yeah. the postseason, because he was balling out for a kid, you know. Like, I mean, he was oh. like. Yeah. You know, it was crazy, like how fast that kid could just like, you know, and. Yeah, it, for him to be, like, so young, too, and, like, already kind of have an idea. Like, people keep comparing him to Randy Moss, you know, like, guys like that. And and right. I don't blame them because he just – he was <laughs> – some players come ready for the NFL, and he was just, you know, just ready. You know what I mean? He mm-hmm. just slipped them in there. And having his QB with him, you know, that helps. That does help, right? But at the same time, yeah. like, um, you still – the NFL is a different level. Like, I'm not hating on college. I know there's – but – it, I don't care what people say. NFL is a different level. It's a different caliber. It's a different speed. It's a different mm-hmm. style. The rules are different, right? Like, that's why, like, you know, sometimes they're like, oh, you didn't throw a flag on that. I'm like, no, nah, dude, they're not going to throw a flag on that. You know, <laughs> so, like, you know, so, like, it's just a different level of playing. And you've seen it before where they'll come in and they were a stud in college. Maybe they're going to be stud here. And they don't, right? They don't. Right. It just doesn't translate. And so, like, he was just ready. I was also a fan of Najee Harris. I thought, you know, I thought he balled out too. So, like, honestly, like, if he got it, I wouldn't be upset either because the kid was ready to run too. Um, and so he also has skills. I thought he was snubbed um, when they did their list of the top 10 rookies. Like, he didn't make top 10. I was like, okay, like, I don't know who made this list. But <laughs> so, like, you know, and so I think it'll it'll go to Jamar Chase. But I wouldn't be mad if they gave it to Najee either, you know, because the kid yeah. did go out there and ball out and, you know, proved his numbers too. So, oh, yeah, I agree. I agree. Do, do my eyes deceive me? We gentrified the show. Nathan Snell, we are breaking <laughs> glass ceilings. Let's go. Well, what I won't like is if Mac Jones gets it. I don't think Mac Jones was. I don't think so either. Hey, <laughs> cue my pick. Oh, no. Sorry. I, go ahead. Look, I was all about, I was all about Jamar Chase, all the way up to. 
But when I saw that boy run to the end zone and hit him with the gritty. No. <laughs> Mac Jones. Mac Jones. Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Yo, no. did, did that's you... a Spider vote to no, no. <laughs> that was terrible. Look, that was honestly, I, I think I think when we're looking at it from a season perspective, just the season, I think what he did with that team, you know, seeing what it came from last year, seeing he's the new guy and in an intricate offense with Bill Belichick. He balled out over three thousand in the air, and he has some great, great games. Now, if we add the playoffs in. Not so much because you got whooped by Buffalo. Um, and and honestly, I think Jamar Chase, once those drop issues uh, went away and he really started balling out and then having that game against the Chiefs where he went for 266, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, yeah, it's kind of the nod. But Mac Jones, man, any – any no disrespect, any white boy that can sit here and do the gritty <laughs> in the Pro Bowl. <laughs> like, let's go. Let's go. I don't know. I don't know. Like, oh he's, I, he's not going to get it. But yeah, it was, I don't yeah, know. Definitely- I got. I got to wait another season to see if he can. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I feel like I need to see another season from him before. You know, I just, I don't know. I, I mean, I get why, but at the same time, I'm like, there were things where, like. I just, I'm still not sold on him. Like, I get it. Like, congratulations. Like, Bill Belichick got you into the postseason. Because that's, in my opinion, that's who got them into, you know, that, you know, for me, he willed them into that, you know, into the postseason. Now, if they could follow up, right, next season, improvement, you know what I'm saying? Like, then I'll say, okay, he's legit. You know what I'm saying? Like, he is, like, legit ready. Like, he's growing. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. But I just I mean, this season. Uh, my picks was, for rookie quarterbacks, though, this year. Well, yeah, obviously. But, but still, yeah. I don't know. Like I that one game where the, man, go, the weather was bad on Monday night and they didn't trust him to do anything. Did, so he just he handed the ball nothing. off. Yeah. Right. So, but even, know, that, even that's smart, too, because it's like, look, <laughs> we don't <laughs> want you to make a mistake. Like, so I, yes. for, me, <laughs> for me, I actually think what happened is that. Trevor Lawrence balled out, but he was on the Jaguars. Mm-hmm. They built like, it over three thousand. Like it was cra- like it. That's what. But you see what I'm saying? Like he was on a crappy now, team. The interception disparity. Yeah, was a lot bigger. I know, but like he'll. I feel like he'll fix that. But at the same time, he was still throwing for three hundred yards. Like you know what I mean? Like even Very like, true. Very when Tom true. Brady when Tom Brady started his first season, he wasn't great. Right? Very I think true. people forget that. Like when Tom right. Brady came in, he wasn't like. Right, it <laughs> didn't happen right away. Far, as far as one of the picks for offensive rookie of the year, he's definitely somebody that I, yeah. I have have my eye I on. But I, I agree with the the group that is Jamar Chase. Yeah. So everybody's going Jamar Chase. He did lead the league in drops. Oh my goodness. Najee Harris is a running back and had more catches than Jamar Chase. Oh. And Najee Harris was second in the league in all purpose yards from a running back. And if you're going to credit Mac Jones to do what he did with what he had, Najee had the worst line in the league and still had all those yards. And that's, Sean, it. that's all I got to say. Sean knows a lot about Najee because he had a 3.1% chance of – Okay, we got to move on. <laughs> Actually, we, we got to move on. Matter of fact, wait a second. Defense rookie of the year, comeback player of the year. Let's go to coach of the year. We're going to move from those oh, other teams. No! <laughs> this is my favorite part. All right, hey, Ash. Ash. Who is it? Defensive Rookie of the Year. Just get it out of here. Just... Defensive Rookie of the Year is Micah Parsons, Straight the on. fastest man in the NFL. There's no question. If you say anyone else, you're just wrong. <laughs> It'll be a wow. unanimous vote. Wow. Train that... Who? You need to stop saying people that aren't even, that don't even exist hardly in the NFL. He had two interceptions this year. Two. Okay. I mean, Micah has. So, Trayvon. I mean, Micah has. One. No, I'm just speaking fast. But... <laughs> You have one. Hashtag stat that. Hashtag stat that. Hashtag stat every other thing you can get on defense other than interceptions and Micah be stat man. This, this is stupid. This is a dumb argument that's wow. not even a good argument. <laughs> <laughs> she muted herself. Oh, my God. Well, we see who you picked, Ash. And Micah, uh, Parsons, <laughs> Micah Parsons should be defensive player of the year, too. But you know what? It's fine. I'll give wow. TJ flowers, I guess. Cross the lines there, aren't we? Okay. What, what you got, Sid? <laughs> oh, Trey Nor. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Mike has got it hands down. I don't think there's even – I think this is the most unanimous one there is. There's not I think cool. so, too. <laughs> I don't know anybody else that could yeah, go for that. Yeah. Besides Trey Nor. 
Wow. He's not even in the comment. Whatever his odds. Wow. Plus one hundred billion. I bet you. I bet you <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> he was a seventh round pick this year. Give him a break, all right? Oh, You're the best one in the conversation. <laughs> wow. I love this. The first married couple of the Let's Talk Football. I love community. it. Oh my God. Never I love how we moved down. We're like, yeah, it's Micah. <laughs> no, comeback player of the year. I'm going to go first. I'm going to go with Joe Burrow. I mean, to do what he did after having the injury that he had. I know where you're going. That's why you're last to pick Ash. But uh, we know what Joe Burrow has done. He's still playing. He's still balling out. He's He's – Every challenge he's had to go up against, if we add in the playoffs, or even if we don't add in the playoffs, he has stepped up to it. He's got his guy. We know what that line is, but he still made a way. Mr. Smokey Smooth, Joey B, Joe Burr, whatever you want to call him. He ain't going to win. That's a little, getting a little ahead of myself, but shout out to him. Delilah, what you got? Who you think's the back yeah, it's Joey B. I was always supporting him because I like, if we're going to look at the preseason, he did what he had to do to get his team into the postseason, right? So, like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, he made it happen. So, I'm sorry. Like, he just, you know, I I feel like with the – for the, the with the O-line that he had, which we know everybody kept bringing out, like, oh, his O-line is bad. But he somehow still managed – to connect with other guys. Also, he didn't always just connect with his goal to Jamar Chase, right? He mm-hmm. actually knew how to read the field, right? He used his tight end all the time, right? We saw, you know, Uzoma. I don't know if I'm saying his name right. I'm sorry. Oh. You know, like, it's, you know, he has Mixon. He's, he's got so many guys that, you know, he was able to to connect with and that he worked on, right? So he he's not just a one, one quarterback, one player type of guy. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. like... I feel like he elevated the game. He played smart. He also gave thanks to his, which people never do, his physical therapist team. Hmm. He basically said, the reason I'm here today that I'm playing so good is because of my physical therapist and their team. Because I don't think people understand. Like, you know, I get that the surgeons did a great job. But once they're done, they're done. Like, you're out, right? And it's the physical therapist that condition and get the players back out there in the field. And so for him to be so humble, too, to be like, hey, I'm here because this, you know, my physical therapist and their team really helped me get my body back into shape so that I could come back and play football at the level that I'm playing. So I have to give him kudos for that. You know, like uh-huh. he didn't just say, oh, I, you know, here I am, like Man of Steel just popped up. But like he actually credited, you know, his medical staff, you know, so I love that. Yeah, I respect I like that. that. Hey. Another reason I like Mr. Joe, Joe Burrow. Jojo, Jojo Burrow. I might need to get that. Um, Sid, what have you got for the comeback player of the year? Yeah, um, again, I think this is because it's voted on later. If it was just this, if 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 this was voted on at the end of the regular season, I think Dak would have won it hmm. because of what Joe Burrow's done in the playoffs. I think they're going to give it to Burrow, um, which is not what it's intend- intended for. It's supposed to be a regular season award again. So I think. Uh, I think it should have been Dak, but I think Burrow's going to win it. I think this is what I'm going to try to say. I can dig it. <clears throat> Ash, who is your comeback player of the year? wonder who she's going for. That was nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Again, I made a bet before this season. <laughs> There's a theme here. It was my third one. Um, that Dak Prescott was going to win comeback player of the year. I have a problem. I have a problem. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go. I also agree with you, though. Like, I think Burrow's going to win it just because of he got real hot at the end there. And then, obviously, the playoff success that Dak, unfortunately, did not have. Um, so I think Burrow will win it. I really hope it's Dak. Not only because I win money, <laughs> but because I think if you look at just the regular season, I think he had a better comeback. I mean, look how – I mean, the Bengals were really bad, too, but – we're nothing without Dak. Let's be real honest. So we're I mean, the Bengals without Joe. Yeah, yeah, not a lot either. <laughs> Look how they were last season. They sucked last. Yeah. Season. I mean, the Bengals were supposed to. And the Cowboys were trash last year too. Yeah, I guess they both not, like football team. That's how bad we were. Last neither year. team so, can survive. Two times. Two times. <laughs> two times. Right? Two times. Right? One time. So, you know basically, I both guess. of these teams need their quarterback. Yeah. That's basically what we're saying. Like without their. 
<laughs> Without their starting quarterback, both of these teams are trash. That's basically what we're saying. Like, they be- <laughs> completely agree. However, uh, Joe you know, Burrow. Only got one guy. <laughs> Joe Burrow had 14 seconds. He would have done better than this. So to get to the quarterback here, Prescott takes off running the football. Whoa, I don't think this is going to work out. It will. They'll be able to clock this. They were playing for it. Down, down. Oh, my gosh. Oh, the official gets in the way. The game's oh, over. Gosh. The game is over. Ash. <laughs> Come back. You can be our comeback player of the show. Come on. <laughs> I need to be next second. Give me a minute. I won't do it Just again. I promise. <laughs> I promise I won't ever do it again. No that's that's it. Why you're not, we're not inviting you anymore. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. <laughs> that was yeah. not awesome. That was depressing. <laughs> I feel trauma. I'm triggered. Listen. I don't appreciate it. This is the lady show. You're being very disrespectful. Wow. Wow. 56 wow. times. Wow. Wow to you. <laughs> 56 times I had to deal with all of it. I can deal with my little 14 seconds worth. That's the second time you've done that to me. I'm done. No more. No more. Uh, trauma. Andrew. Yes, I thought that was funny too. That's Look. Not funny, Andrew. <laughs> it was funny. Yo. I got that vibe for Andrew, but now I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> We have to move on to the last one on this list, Coach of the Year. And I'm actually very interested to see your picks. Um, I'm going to go first real quick. Uh, I'm going to go with Mike Tomlin. I mean, what you guys did with an, an obviously ailing quarterback, no offensive line whatsoever. You had your boy, you know, uh, TJ out f- for a, lot, a good period of time. To get them to the point where they can have a shot at the playoffs after me, myself, and I definitely said midseason, they ain't making it. Sorry, Sid, it's not happening. I ate my words, jumped on the bandwagon. Steelers got there. Tomlin, he's my guy anyway, so – Shout out to him. I, I think I think yeah, he like should it. get it. I think he should get it. Um, Ash, what do you think? I'm going to go Zach Taylor. I just think you were supposed to be last in the division. Like, if you were to go bet on who to win the division, they were last. Like, yeah. they were dead last. They weren't right. expected to do anything. And then now that we are here and they're in the Super Bowl. So, I'm definitely going Zach Taylor. That's amazing. Like to that. bring your team from nothing to something. To go into the Super Bowl, like – <clears throat> they didn't just make the playoffs like the Steelers did. They're actually going somewhere. Very true. We didn't go anywhere either. But yeah, I was gonna say. But I'm not yeah, praising you, know. coach. Is it I'm Mike McCarthy? Coach. Is it Mike McCarthy? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Sid, who you got, man? So, uh, pretty much my theme of this: if this was voted on at the end of the season, which it should have been because it's a regular season award, Mike Vrabel should have been the coach of the year. I like to that do too. what they did and get the number one seed in the AFC, which is the harder oh. conference without Derrick Henry half yeah. the season. I think he should have been the coach of the year, but be like the theme of what everything else I've said, I think they're going to take into what happened afterwards in the account. And I think Zach Taylor will win it based on that. Um, I mean, Zach Taylor did an amazing job and I think he's deserving if he does win it. But I think what Vrabel did without their star um, was more impressive in my eyes. Yeah. I love Rabel. I like that one too. I like that. I like that. Delilah, what do you think? Yeah. So, like, uh, Rabel is favored though, because, you know, I've been looking at like the predictions and stuff. So it's like he's not off the table um, to not win. So I know that he's favored. Matt LaFleur was favored to win also. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think, um, I think Sydney's right. I think because they both were the number one seeds and they both got knocked out the first time they played like you know in their individual rounds so um I think that that's true I think that that's why I don't think they will give it to one of them but they were the two favored in the beginning because you know they got their teams you know to where they needed to be to win the number one seed in each of the conferences Mm -hmm. um but I agree I think because of the way it went down um, where for the first time in a while, both number one seeds actually got knocked out right after the bye week. I, I remember the last time they said that's happened. I know yeah. it's not it's been a while. typical. Right. And so I think because of that, I think that they will give it to Taylor. Now, if there's some sort of weird turnaround and Mike Tomlin wins, I would be super ecstatic because I love mm-hmm. that man. Like yeah. that hands down, like dope, <laughs> dope coach. I yeah. agree with Andrew uh, who says right. just give him more money. <laughs> Every Me year. too. 
two Super Bowls, three appearances. Yeah, so, you know, I, I ain't going to hate on that. But, yeah, I think – I also think I think they are going to give it to Taylor. Um, I mean, it's true, though. I don't think – I, th- I agree. I think Anthony said it at the other show, too. Like, I don't think anybody saw the Cincinnati Bengals who were, like, three and what last season, like, completely yeah. trash. We're going to come back this season and just – not just make it into the playoffs, but as far as they've gone, like – I, I don't know, but if there's someone out there that made those bets, like they're a very rich person right now, <laughs> or richer than they were. You know what I mean? Did, there's got to be. Those, Ash? My brother <laughs> bet the Bengals to win the division and won like over a thousand dollars. See what I'm saying? What? Like there's, there's some, there are some people very rare that make those really odd bets, right? And it hits, and then it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, after yeah. after let's talk uh, let's talk football presents yesterday. Uh, let's talk betting. The betting. We already see <laughs> the COVID. We have problems. I already got my underdog pick for next year. Yeah. All right, but yeah, so that's what that's why I think he's gonna get it. So wow. I think um, Mike Tomlin should have won it that year. He had Doug Hodges and he mm-hmm. didn't have a losing record. Talk <laughs> he should have got it that year. That was like two years. Ago. <laughs> When Ben had elbow surgery, yeah, yeah, he's definitely. I mean, scared. look, if we're placing bets on next year, with what Tomlin potentially will have, you might want to put Wait. him as a front runner. Sydney's not happy with that. <laughs> I'm betting on the Steelers to win the AFC North next year. I don't care AFC who North. Our is. Yeah. Wow. I do. No, I yeah. I bet them this because year. Because of Tomlin, and... not because of who the quarterback is. <laughs> right. Of, yeah, I, I got you. I got you. Yeah, Andrew right. said Jags should trade two firsts for Tomlin <laughs> and watch the dominance for 10 years. <laughs> hey. We can make it happen. If anybody could, it'd be him. The last team to win their division next year is the Jags. I think they're going to do it. Oh, I, I believe you. I, yeah. That's going to be this year's Bengals. No. They're, no. Mason, Mason Rudolph. <laughs> Maybe let's go. Um, okay. and reindeer. Let's go. Okay, Nathan. All right, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, definitely tune oh, that in for funny. that later on tonight. We will see all of these picks, see how correct we were. If we weren't, I'm sure y'all will let us know. <laughs> but, hey, definitely love it. It has been a great NFL regular season and playoffs. Coming into this weekend, ladies and gentlemen, we. 